I look back at all the people that we have lost in our adventure here on this planet, and all I have to say is, wow, these guys are really dumb. Hey everybody, TBG Hunter here, and welcome back to more Pikmin. Last time, we returned back to the Force Naval to hopefully get some ship parts, and unfortunately, all we left with was less Pikmin than we had going into that place. Yeah, not one of my best days here, but hey, maybe today we can finally make up for it because we're going to be returning back to the Force Naval to hopefully get those missing ship parts. And hopefully this time we will keep Pikmin losses to a minimum. But with the fact that we basically killed everything that was around and that was a major threat to us, then we really don't have to worry about uh, Pikmin losses for the most part. All right, so going in forward into this, let's grab our blues that were still sprouted around here. And we're gonna need around 40 blues to get that one ship part back. All right, 19 blues, so around, oh, nope. So 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. let's get around 45 blues just to give it a little extra burst of speed. Let's get ourselves 12 yellows. And the remainder of our battalion will be reds. Guys, out. 24. There must be some sprouts down by the lower section. Or maybe in the water. No, no sprouts. Wow, that Wally Wog did a lot more damage than I thought it did. Probably should also focus on getting. Uh, get up! Get some more Pikmin with uh, Flowered. So let's throw you guys over there so you can start plucking. I'll just start focusing on getting the spring back to the ship. I can't believe we were so close and yet so far to get at least one ship part back. Right, looks like they've only gotten one thing of nectar, two things of nectar, because I just saw one plop right up into the ground. And there we go! There's our spring! Gravity Jumper. This anti-gravity device allows a dolphin to swim gracefully through the sea of stars like a dolphin. I've now recovered 14 out of 30 parts. Just need to find 15 more and we'll be able to expand our search for any more missing ship parts. Alright. Two globs of nectar. Not bad, I guess. Could have been better, but could have been worse. And only a couple blues got flowered. Really would have liked it if it was a bit more blues, but not well. Uh, well, there is this right here. No, I don't want a leaf. No, you fools! Drink! Uh, like I always say, uh, boo. I don't know what was going on with him. I guess he just wanted to be replanted again. Come on, you guys are not going to do anything with that. Guys. I swear, Pikmin AI is just so easily distracted. You could probably be like... At least it was a yellow... Or, not yellow. At least it was a leaf this time, not a flower. Alright. First and foremost, let's split you guys up. And let's get our blue battalion... Ready to go for a sub-aquatic adventure. Uh, excuse me, blue. You want to join your friends? There we go. Alright, you guys are with me. We're gonna go into the water and we're gonna go get the dioxin filter. Ah, a couple got left behind. Alright, well, we had more than enough loose for that then. Let's get you guys back over here for now. And you can join the reds at the moment. Let's get our yellows. Get some bombs ready to go. And we're gonna bash down that do uh, 
that black wooden door over there on the far side of the pool of water over here. Oop. Nope. Everybody gets mom. Moo. Looks like there's even a couple more bombs to spare. Yeah, like I said, this is actually one of the best locations to get bomb rocks in the Forest Naval, which is why I really wanted to open up that bridge right there. And thankfully, seeing as how all the fiery blowhogs and all the wild logs are dead, we don't have to worry much about any Pikmin casualties while I just leave them to sit right there. takes care of that. Now let's just take our remaining yellows and actually I'm gonna go back and snag the remaining bomb rocks over there. We're gonna go set up a couple of shortcuts back to the ship. Oh wow it looks like there's even more than just a few bomb rocks uh, still over here. Moo! There we go. All right, now I think we uh, got a bomb rock. So it looks like there's almost like 24 bomb rocks sitting over there. Looks like maybe 23. So yeah, like I said, really, really good spot for bomb rocks. And hey, that made it back to the ship. <laughs> like the one blue just standing in the center of it, being like, "Hey, I'm special, everybody." Antidioxin filter. The laws of deep space require all ships to el eliminate all pollutants. I never covered 15 out of 30 parts. Just 14 more to go. Guys, just run, run, run. We're gonna go over here to this uh, stone wall right over here. And be very careful about opening it up for, for the battalion. Oh, run. This is such a very jerkishly placed wall right here and because it's right next to these two fire geysers. Guys, careful. Oh, no. And... Damn you for your stupidity. Well, nothing much left to do, so let's just drop uh, this wall over here. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, at least it... Knocked down the wall quite a bit, but that was my own damn fault, not you guys. I'm so sorry, guys. I didn't mean to kill you meaniously. Oh. Guys, guys, run! You do not want to be over here right now. Alright, let's get you guys over here, and you can start working on knocking down the remainder of this wall. I didn't even know that uh, Shergrubs and Sherwig spawned over here. Okay, good. It's just right up by that guy's over there. Alright, let's get back up here to our blues. And... Well, we got a couple of things we could do with them. I think what I'm going to do, for the time being... We're going to deposit around this many, so that way we only have 30 blues, and looks like the rest of the team got the job done. We're going to pull down around 20 yellows, and the remainder will just be reds. Alright, let's go meet up with the rest of the battalion and uh, go make our way over to the far side because I would like to try to start nudging on a couple of more ship parts along. And it looks like we got a fair decent amount of uh, reds that we could probably pull this off. No. Guys, 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 don't be stupid! Run! <sighs> Great. Just run. Just run. I really wish you guys would not try to kill anything in sight. I know that you're getting a bloodthirsty urge to murder all living creatures that aren't you, but seriously, come on. Alright, everybody, so get up. This is the kind of behavior I was expecting from you guys now. 
I'm gonna keep everybody against the wall over here. There is a lot of fire geysers, and if you're not careful, then there is a very good chance that you will have a lot of Pikmin catch on fire, run around, and quite possibly die. So, right now, what we're gonna do is we're going to take our yellows and our reds, and we're going to have them start working on this bridge right here. And the remaining Pikmin that we have right here can focus on that. And for the time being, we're going to take our blues and head over this way with them. Now, there's a bit of a puzzle element to this ship part over here, and as well as the other ship part. And the ship part over there is actually one of my favorite ship parts to get puzzle-wise. So, we got this piece right here. I found my analog computer. This computer conveys the kind of vague data that falls outside the range of ones and zeros. Actually, to be honest, it's a little bit too vague, so it isn't very helpful. Yeah, I was right. It had to be 20 Pikmin. Uh, of course, I'm one short yet again. Well, you guys are almost done, so it doesn't really matter much. Ow. I think I see... Okay, yeah. Nope, blues, I need you. How many reds are over here? Uh, ten reds, so let's get a couple more reds over with us. Yeah, that should be enough. Alright, everybody's all together. Let's get you guys over to the computer real quick. And what you're really supposed to be doing is you're supposed to get the blues over into the water over there and then have them carry it out of the water and either shadow the blues or you throw them into that flower up there. Now, we actually haven't gone over what that flower is. That is called a candy pop bud. What you do is you throw a Pikmin into it of one color and after a certain number go in there, it will spit out and change the Pikmin into the color of the flower. All right, you guys are done. So let's just split you guys off. Reds, you get to work on the computer. No, I don't want Blue's helping. You idiots. Right here. You guys, just stay over there. One, two, six. All right, fine. That's a decent number. I just want to make sure that I don't have too many Pikmin working on that because... I think I need 15 or 20 Pikmin for the ship part that's up here. It's actually uh, another variation of a ship part that we got earlier in our adventure back in the Forest of Hope. The reason I wanted it to be reds is because they can carry the ship parts back to the fire geysers without any uh, worry. Alright, split everybody off. Blues, you get to work down here. And you work on activating the geyser as I get our yellows up there. Well, the blues decide to tag along, which just means we're going to just smack their face into the side of the wall. Oh my god, blues. Not making my life any easier. That should be enough yellows up there. Yep. Should be. Hopefully. 19. I think it's only 15 up there. Yep, it was 15. Okay, cool. I found my Libra. My daughter gave this to me. It's named after her astrological sign. My sweet little girl. I wonder what she's doing right at this moment. Ooh, careful, guys. So, there's something interesting about this ship part right here. This is actually a ship part you can permanently screw yourself out of getting throughout the entirety of the adventure. If for whatever reason your Pikmin somehow stumble and toss the Libra off the side and into the void over there, because it can happen, then you actually will lose all opportunity to get it. Okay, just enough reds to be able to carry this back. Nice. And if you uh, decide to leave and save after your adventure, the Libra will still be stuck down there in the void, and there will just be no way for you to recover it. So, if that does happen, definitely just reset the game without saving because... Uh-oh. How close is everybody? Okay. 
That ship part should be able to get back to the ship in time. I might have to just shadow these guys because I don't think they're going to be able to get back to the ship in time. Maybe if I get everybody on the piece over here. Okay, cool. Uh-oh. Come on, guys. gotten the cutscene of them delivering the part. Is everybody out of that little stretch over there? Yep. And they're just outside of base, so there's a good chance they'll be able to drop off the computer before the day's over. But this is definitely going to need to take another day to get back to base. I'm just going to go this way and avoid that grass like to play, because I know you guys, and you're going to get distracted by it so easily. Uh, yellow, come on. Analog computer. This strengthens the outward emotions of the dolphin's computer. While it does make the computer smart, it also makes it quick to anger. It's just like my boss. Uh oh. Okay. Uh, if I have to leave one, I'd rather sacrifice one than uh, an entire group. Come on, guys. Come on. Keep up. Alright. We'll leave that right there for today. I feel like I left that yellow underneath the bridge, and he's now permanently going to get stuck until, well, he decides to find his way out of the bridge and then realize he's too late to leave with the rest of us. Oh, no, he actually managed to find his way out of the bridge. Cool. Once again, that Wallywog is very disappointed he could not sell another Pikmin. Nine days since impact, there are now only 14 parts that I still need to retrieve. Will I be able to recover the remaining parts in 21 more days? Surely there are some parts that are not absolutely necessary. If my ship is not complete by day 30, the only way I will find out is to try and lift off. I just recalled the day I took my son for a ride in the spaceship. He was so happy. I shall tell him this journey when I return, and I shall return. I must. I can already see the look of wonder on his precious face when I describe my adventures with the Pikmin. Alright, only four lost in battle today, which honestly compared to the past couple of days is leagues and bounds better than how I've been doing. Still, kind of wish that we didn't lose those yellows to those very dumb bomb rock uh, premature explosions, or losing that blue to the sheer grub even though I told them not to attack it and they still did it anyways. His death was his own fault, and we still got some ship parts out of it. All in all, a pretty alright day in my opinion. Alright, well, only three ship parts are left, and one is really close to base, so next time on Pikmin, we're gonna return back to the Forest Naval and snag the remaining ship parts, and hopefully end our adventure there and head off to the distant spring the next day. Anyways, I will see you guys next time, later.